The Farms.com Canola Report is brought to you by the Clearfield Production System for Canola and BASF Canada. My name is Tom Wolf, and I own Agrimetrics, which is a small research and training company. Uh, tank cleanup remains a very big issue for canola growers. Uh, group 2 residues primarily, but also some group 14 residues can damage canola significantly and we have to be very, very careful about how to clean them out. It's a bit of a mystery, but I'd like to divide things up into, into two main groups of products. The first group are the Sophona ureas, made by DuPont, and the Trizoloperimidines, made by Dow. Both of those products are typically uh, a little bit more difficult to get out of a tank. Uh, the, the third group of products, or I guess the second major group, is the imidazolinones, the BASF products. They typically don't have as many uh, tank cleanout complaints. Uh, for the first group, we always recommend that they use ammonia. Ammonia raises the pH of the spray solution, and that increases the solubility of those kinds of products, and they'll go into solution easier. If, that, if the group twos are tank mixed with a group one or any other emulsifiable concentrate, in other words, if they're milky in appearance, you will also want to use the surfactants to help clean that tank out because the surfactants are needed to cut the oil. If you're working with uh, more of a BSF product, the IMIs, then actually a lower pH increases the uh, solubility of that uh, active ingredient. Most of the time, uh, we don't have solubility issues with those products uh, and we don't really m uh, recommend any change to it. Uh, what people need to do, I guess, with a tank cleanup issue is, is be thorough. It's not just the tank. It's also the plumbing from the tank. It's the screens that go from the tank to the boom. It's the boom ends. It's the nozzle bodies that contain dead spots and contain screens. All those areas have to be inspected if possible. That be flushed plenty. Um, they may have to be allowed to soak for a while. Some of our persistent cleanout issues can be solved possibly with just more time. Unpopular message but necessary. The other thing that's important is what follows the group two. Uh, there are some herbicides that have unique uh, scrubbing capabilities. For example, the Liberty Link uh, canola uh, is, uh, is often damaged by group two residues because Liberty is a very good scrubber of residues from tank walls, maybe plumbing wall, plumbing and so on. So that's, that's an important consideration. Um, still a few mysteries there. We always see stories of where an unlikely amount of damage was done by a properly clean sprayer. So there's probably a few things that we haven't quite picked up on yet and have to solve those in the future. Uh, tank cleanout can often take a lot of time and there's a few ways that you can uh, increase your efficiency. One way is to split your clean water volume into several smaller parts. For example, we can go uh, and take a 150 gallon saddle tank like on the sprayer behind me and divide it into three, three smaller subsets so three times 50 gallons. Each of those uh, cleanings uh, done sequentially will increase the dilution of the of the remaining active ingredients. So for example if we have uh, say a 10 gallon remainder in the sump of the tank and we want to tidy that up we might put in 150 gallons all at once. That'll dilute that by about a factor of 60 but if we divide that 150 gallons into three uh, batches of 50, then we dilute that remainder by a factor of 216. Same amount of water, just used differently. And an even better way to do it would be to put a clean water pump, a dedicated clean water pump, on your clean water tank. And so while you're spraying your tank empty, you start to introduce uh, clean water through the wash down nozzles and that gets immediately sprayed out the booms. Uh, it's actually an even more rapid and more thorough clean out than even three batches of 50, 50 uh, gallons would be. Yes, for more information, uh, uh, you can contact me at sprayers101.com. That's a website that has a lot of good, useful spray information on it for free. And on that site, you'll find email and Twitter uh, contact information also. The Farms.com Canola Report has been brought to you by the Clearfield Production System for Canola and BASF Canada. Visit www.agsolutions.ca.